Hello, crazy plant people. I am back after some, quite some time. I think it's been about a year, maybe more. But today I wanted to do a little Alocasia tour. So, I just got back from Florida. We were visiting my grandparents who just moved down to Vero Beach in December. And I have visited them. This was the first time visiting them, but we've, we've been visiting friends who live in Sebastian area, which is about like 30 minutes from Vero. So we're, we're kind of getting more familiar with that, that area in between on A1A Highway and um, that, in that area of Florida, Atlantic Coast. So um, in my visits there, I found a bunch of really cute plant stores where I have purchased these alocasias. I actually just got about four new varieties that I brought back on the plane with me. And so um, those boutiques and stores I got them at were Busy Bee Gardens. Dig Gardens and Rock City Gardens, which you might have heard of because Rock City is a pretty popular um, one, especially in that area. And Dig Garden is a really cute boutique that's really taking off. They just opened up their second location. Um, but I follow them all on Instagram. I love keeping updates on them and my grandparents and our friends, um, Jen and Greg in Florida always send pictures. They're like, oh, look what Diggs did. Oh, look what Rock City Garden did. Look at Busy Bee. They have like the best Christmas trees right now. So um, it's, my home away from home plant go-to store. But I wanted to go through a little uh, tutorial of how to take care of alocasias from my experience and my knowledge and also just kind of show off my, my fancy plant varieties of alocasias. Um, so yeah, let's get right into the tutorial or tour or whatever you call it. Sorry, I'm not very YouTube savvy with the vocab. Um, houseplant tour, let's go with that houseplant tour. So. Let me think about which one I'm going to show you first. I'll go, I'll go smallest to biggest. So that's what I'll do. So, okay. Well, this one's smallest, but like in a bigger pot because it has bigger roots because it's a bulb. But this is, this is the smaller plant that I have. I actually don't know what this one is because I threw away the tag. But I think, I think it is the Alocasia Mojito. So we will see when this little guy matures and I will let you guys know. But um, I grew this guy from a little bulb. And he's still a little baby and he's just doing his thing and growing and I can't wait for him to get big so I can kind of identify him. Because a lot of those plant apps don't really work if they don't get enough context for the plant. And sometimes they're even wrong, even if you like take a picture as clear as day. Um, so I normally try to like ask on my social page at Carson's Greenhouse on Instagram for plant identification in the community because it's really nice to have people that can help identify the plant for you if you don't know what it is and kind of get that feedback and um you know it's pretty accurate because these plant people know what they're talking about so it's my little baby boy he's the babyest he's growing and he will i'll give you guys updates on him when he gets nice and big and strong so then um so this guy's in a smaller pop but like he's bigger so smallest to biggest order i would say start with that guy right and um i'm really excited about this guy because this is my alocasia azalanii and I'm super excited because he kind of looks like the Cupria and he's very similar in a lot of ways, but it is a different, very different plant. And so um, I think this guy's pretty hard to come by for most um, shops. I have not seen him in a lot of places in Maryland, especially, but I saw him at Rock City Garden and my grandfather, my Papa Phil, he bought him for me. So I, um, this is one of the guys I took back on the plane and now he's here in Maryland in my greenhouse, in Carson's greenhouse, so I will do everything in my little greenhouse power to help him get big and strong and get really pretty mature leaves because when he gets really big, I've seen pictures of them, they look so stunning. They have these really intense ab definitions in the leaf and they have like this gloss or shine and they just are absolutely stunning. And I picked this guy because you can see kind of has a new growth. and. Typically, alocasias only grow about three leaves at a time, and so I was like, that's definitely a plus. I wanted to get one that had new growth coming out, because um, it is very typical for them to only put out a few leaves at a time. So I wanted to make sure that I got a really good one so we could bloom and be super happy. But um, I think these guys, they do like decent, moderate amount of humidity, so um, I'll probably spray his leaves a lot or put them near the humidifier um to kind of encourage that that growth and so I don't know if these guys are prone to pests or not I think the most common one would probably be spider mites if they're outside or you keep them outside um in a shaded area 
with other plants. That's what happened to my experience when keeping plants in our screened in porch. We get a lot of spider mites, so that's always a problem with putting them outside for the summer and then bringing them back in. You can really make sure that you watch out for spider mites and you spray them with um, a neem oil organic pesticide to make sure you get rid of any pests and contaminating all your other plants because spider mites will spread and infest your entire plant family, unfortunately. But they are easy to get rid of. Um, there's a couple of different methods, which I can probably talk about in another video. But other than that, pest management for these guys, I've really not had a lot to worry about. They're really pest free, at least in my experience. So um, other than spider mites, which is probably the most common one. Um, but that's the alocasia. Azelaniae and next on my list is this really cool guy and he just definitely gives me Khaleesi vibes. Like, da, 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 da. I just, I get that song stuck in my head when I see this one because he has the alocasia, this is alocasia green or dragon scale leaf. Um, and it looks and feels like, I would assume a dragon scale would feel like. It's very like tough, leathery and like strong. And it is really cool underneath veins. And I just think this plant is so cool. If I had to get a tattoo, I'd probably get a tattoo of this guy like on my wrist or something. Because I just think he's so stunning. I love it. And um, similar care for this guy. Like he's um, pretty, pretty easy going as long as you don't overwater, don't let them get direct sun. They do like really bright light, but don't, don't let them burn because then they'll, they'll destroy the pretty foliage and it'll not be a fun time for you because you know have to probably cut around the leaf or cut the leaf off and so just make sure not to um, put it too close to the sun but they do really like a lot of bright indirect to medium indirect light so that is a good rule of thumb i would probably start with less light and move it closer instead of starting it too close to a window and having it burn and then having to move it away just so you don't have to have that sad little leaf sacrifice of crispy little alocasia leaf that you probably spent a lot of money on <laughs> fancy alocasia um next guy on my list is this boy and i believe this is the alocasia maharani but i also i can't tell this like the difference between the mellow and the aharani or the maharani because this one was labeled as the maharani but i i feel like it looks like a mellow so if you can help me kind of confirm his identity on in the comments or anywhere um just let me know i'd be grateful for that I'll probably post a picture of him on my story and ask people to confirm just so I can know for sure. But um, he is really cool because this, this leaf is just like so shiny and like almost plastic looking. I don't, I don't know how like it gets like that. Like it actually looks like a fake plastic plant, but it's not. And I wish you guys could feel it because it's so interesting. But this guy got a little dinged up from transportation i had him wrapped in saran wrap and he was like very spread out and so i wrapped him up like this in the the saran wrap so that he wouldn't you know break any of his petioles or stems so i wanted to make sure he's nice and secure for the plane ride and i think he's kind of airing out a little bit but he's doing all right so my next big boy on the list we're getting bigger and bigger is my alocasia cupria and just look at him. Just take a moment. Just take a moment and absorb his beauty because I can't get over how stunning this plant is. This is really similar to what the um, Azalani is going to look like, I believe. And so I'm super excited for that plant because it is so immature. It's such a small plant. This guy is more mature. So I'm guessing this is what he'll look like. Oh, I just spilled water. He's a little wet. I just watered him. So um, he just dripped on me, but that's okay. But yeah, this guy is absolutely stunning. My boyfriend, Matt, got this plant for me for my birthday from the Littlest Greenhouse in, um, in Pikesville. So I, this was the only one at the time and I was like, I need him, like immediately I need him. And I have him and I'm excited, but um, I do need to repot this guy cause I don't know if, I'm gonna try to show you guys, but you can see how he like has, he's really root bound and he's like curling around the pot. So I do think he, he's due for a repot pretty soon. And so I'm probably gonna get that done today. Um, so let me fix this back. Okay. But yeah, he's, he's really cool. Um, he dropped a few leaves cause I think he was sitting in water because I know they like 
like I thought this guy wanted to be watered more often so I had him in a pot that um with no drainage I know it's bad but I got lazy and I didn't want to take him out to water him so I just give him a little bit of water every now and then and eventually piled up and he was sitting in like an inch of water and he was not happy and he told me he was not happy because he had a yellow leaf right away and I was really freaked out I was like oh my god it's I'm killing it I'm killing my really special expensive rare plant but um he put on a new leaf after that and now he only has two but oh my gosh wait I didn't even know this. Oh, this is hope this is hope right here he's got a new little growth coming out so that's perfect so when I said that alocasias only produce about two or three leaves at a time this is literally what I mean so like this is a perfectly healthy alocasia even though he kind of looks a little sad and leggy but he is he is good um so i'm gonna repot him hopefully he's gonna take off right away and with what time we have left in the summer it's like late summer now so hopefully we will see some results for this guy before winter because winter is always a struggle for me at least when i have to winter plant because i just it gets really dry and like the heat turns on and i only have a tiny little amazon humidifier so i might have to invest in like a full room humidifier um so if you know any good humidifiers for large spaces, let me know. Um, and that'll probably really help me out in the long run. So the last, um, going to the last little, well, not so little, biggest guy on my alocasia list is this guy, who is the typical classic elephant ear alocasia because, I mean, he gets his name, obvious reason. He's a pretty massive guy and he's only going to get bigger um i grew this guy from a bulb and this i have a deep connection with this guy because he's like my little baby i grew him from a tiny seed and you know look at him he's getting so big so i'm a proud mama over here with this stunning result of ginormous gorgeous leaves and i'm really excited too he's got little little baby shoots coming out um so yeah and it's it's really rewarding when you can buy your house plants from seeds and grow them because house plants can be pretty expensive sometimes and so it is really exciting and rewarding when you can get a result something like this and i know that in their natural environment they can get like way bigger like a leaf could be like this whole like the size of my body and i'm about five three five four so um it's not shocking for a plant leaf to get somewhat that big so this guy even though he's a little bit smaller he is pot in a pot so he's kind of limited to how big he's, his growth or potential growth could be. Um, but he is perfect in my eyes and I'm so excited that he's just continuing to grow and grow. It was a slow start at first, but he's really taken off. And so um, I'm just happy to, to continue to watch him grow and I'm excited to try to winter him too. So that concludes my alocasia tutorial. Thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you crazy plant people later. Bye.